Welcome to the Aqua Flow Crypto Lab. The end of the month of January is coming to an end. This is one of the last weeks of sideways movements for XRP and for the overall crypto market. In this video, I will share the most important price levels, so stay until the end. As you can see on the big picture chart, we are currently retesting the red circle. But before we get into this chart, there is a lot going on in the moonshot chart. So let's talk about this first. Oh yeah, and by the way, my name is Aquaflow and if you're new here and enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. You already know about this chart, so let's get to the points. As you can see, we have a lot of things going on right now. In my last video, we talked about this scenario. We talked about the cross between the yellow line and the green line. And currently we are retesting the cross. For more than one month, I've been saying that we will probably retest the cross and this is what we are doing. Why? Because first we had this cross. This was the first cross. We have a small move to the upside, but it wasn't convincing enough. And we went down, okay, until reaching prices below the yellow line and the green line. This was pretty bearish. We saw that the yellow line was coming back down like this. And I said, look, we will probably have a retest of the yellow line and the green line. And if we want to be bullish again, we have to avoid the cross. So we needed to wait for the yellow line touching the green line. And this is what we are currently facing right now. And now we need to wait to see if the bulls will defend the cross or if we will have an official cross. And in that case, it will be pretty bearish. So what's going on right now, it's very, very interesting because it confirms what I've been saying all this time. There is no coincidence. It's no surprise at all to see a surge of the price when both lines are crossing. To be clear, this is an attempt of the bulls to avoid the cross. As you can see, we have a little week just right here. This means that the price is using both lines as resistances right now. We touched both lines at the same time, but so far the price is not able to go above them. The good news is that we still have some time before the official close of the candle. So there is still room for hope. That said, I remind you that we are in a pretty bearish position. Why? Because the price is still below the yellow line and the green line. And in addition, we have the cross between both lines. This means that XRP needs to go above both lines right now. Okay. If the price is able to go back above the lines and to avoid the cross, things will start looking good in my opinion or at least in this XRP against BTC chart. So pay attention to what will happen. I will share another update of the chart this week. So do not forget to hit the notification bell to know when I release a new video. There is more to say. While we are having the retest of the cross, guess what? At the exact same time, we are retesting the red circle that we've been talking about for months in the big picture chart. Isn't it amazing to see such a synchronicity between both charts, whereas the analyses are very different? This confirms that this is time for some movement in the market. Indeed, last week's we focused on two lines. The last resistance circle in red, of course, but also the green support that we have just right here. If you don't remember how I drew this green line, you can watch my previous video. We've been using this line as a strong, a very strong support for more than six months in a row. So we know that if we break it to the downside, things will start looking very bad. This is the reason why it absolutely needs to hold. Each time that the market seems to move to one direction, I always take a look at the XRP chart to confirm what the market really wants. Because in the past, 
every time that I expected a move from XRP, the whole crypto market followed. It was the case here when we hit the circle and the market followed. Here XRP went down, the market followed. Here also it was the case and here also. Okay, so this time will be no different. For weeks, we've been saying that the price was stuck between the red circle and the line, right? And XRP needed to make a decision. As long as we stay below the line, below the red line, I will always temper my emotions when the market goes up. So to be very clear, and you know that this chart is the most accurate chart you can find on YouTube right now. If XRP is able first to cross the first part of the red circle, it will be a first bullish sign. Then we have the bull market support with the blue dots. If we are able to cross it, it will be a second good sign. If we make it above the red circle, it will be a third sign and then we still have this line above us. And if we are able to cross it and to use it as a support and to go up, then it's time to party, guys. Otherwise, don't get too excited. This is all I'm saying. So I'm glad to see XRP retesting the circle. This is great news. So at that point, it's too soon to get happy and we need to wait for the weeks to come to see if XRP is able to maintain its level above first the green line and above the red circle. It would be wonderful, wonderful guys, if we were able to finally cross all these resistances. But there is still a long way to go. So while waiting, I will share the most important price levels with you right now. Let's start with the resistances we have to overcome before being bullish again. The bottom line of the red circle is around 26 cents. The upper line of the circle is around 48 cents. Next, we have the bull market support for this week around 46 cents. And the last resistance just right here, which is the 180 weeks exponential moving average. Currently, it is around 52 cents. Now let's dive into the supports. Of course, we have our closest support right now, which is around 33 cents. Then in this chart, we have the bottom line, which is currently around 25 cents. And finally, if we ever go down, the perfect target would be the mountain indicator, which is currently around 18 cents. So now you know everything about the most important price levels. Again, this is no surprise that we see the price retesting the red circle. And at the same time, we have a retest of the moonshot cross just after the first cross that we have here we are retesting the cross right now. So it's definitely time to have some volatility in the market. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all for today's video. And as always, time will tell.